I'm a little bit all over the place today, but the plan is, I've been to Texas a few times, okay, and I've never been to have barbecue. I've just never done it. So everyone's recommending me to go to this place called Ter Terry's Black, Terry Black's Barbecue, I think it's called. So I'm gonna go there and try that first of all today. I did just come here for a slice of pizza to like, you know, um, soak up the hangover or whatever, or I, I, you know, whatever you wanna call it. But then I forgot about the barbecue. So I'm gonna go to the barbecue and then there's a, uh, I'm not gonna gym yet, I might go later, but I'm gonna go and walk around. There's a, there's a river here. It's like a two hour walk to get all the way around it. So I thought, for like the main bit of exercise today, I'll just go and do that. It seems like a really nice thing to do and for the vlog as well. Although it is gonna rain, but I'm British, I don't really care. Um, but first off, I'm gonna try this barbecue. I never have done it before and it needs to be done. Also, I just love the aesthetic here as well. It just looks like, it's just so sick. Look at all this. Everyone on the Discord has been wanting me or asking me or like literally shouting at me to go and get a hat, like a Texas hat. And oh, there's a hat shop right here, so I'm tempted to do it. But I'm thinking like, I can't put it in my suitcase because it's gonna ruin it because my suitcase is already full. And I'm not gonna wear it on the plane back, right? <laughs> like, I don't really need a hat or want a hat, but I'll check it out and we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll do it, okay, maybe. Here it is, look. Do I do it? That is the question. Do I do it? Texas hat shop. Also, I'm really confused, right? Because I've been looking at things to do in Austin and everything that I keep reading about always recommends going to see the I love you so much mural. Mural? Oh, JJ just got <laughs> mural. So I can see it right now. I'm going to go show you guys. I'm so confused because I just don't get it. I don't get why this is so famous, you know? Um, it's across the street right now. So I'm going to go there. But wait till you see it, honestly. Honestly. Also, just look at the aesthetic of this place. Am I tripping on it? It just looks... It's just really cool, man. And that shot of downtown. Whew. Look at that, man. If I zoom up, look at that. Whoa. How sick does that look? If anyone's interested in how to do the roads in America. Not sure why it would be, but there you go. I've been here for like two minutes. It just hasn't changed to red yet. Like, honestly, I've been stood here for so long. You can't jaywalk in America, right? Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't want to anyway. Look at this road. Beast of a road. It's like the M1. The UK motorway. Oh my God, it's actually gone. Sick. Let's go. Look at that, man. That's just sick. That's so sick. Wow. Okay, here we are. Are you guys ready? Here's the mural. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is the mural that everyone keeps telling me about. I keep reading about. And it's just some spray paint. I love you so much. But I think the whole point is that you're supposed to be here with something that you love so much and take a photo. I think that's the, the point. It's on Google, like reviews and stuff. I saw everyone, to be fair, everyone was there with their partner, obviously. I, I don't have one of those, so I'm, I'm here on my own. But you know what? I love you guys so much, okay? So that's the, uh, the mural for you. I know I'm here right now, but I'd love to come back for like an extended amount of time, like a whole week, you know? It's just so sick, I mean, look at that. Everywhere's just cool. This is right next to my hotel as well. I just <laughs> walked out, you know? Oh, right, look at this, here we are. <laughs> what the hell? Mad. Here's the rest of it. And then look, Ooh. let our barbecue warm you up and sober you up, please. How do I do it? How does this work? I have no idea. Bar menu, nah, no, no alcohol for me. No alcohol at all. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away and then update you as I go. This place is serious, man. This is a serious place. Probably I've never done this. It's the first time doing barbecue. Let's go. I have no idea what to order though. So you pick a side. Hmm. Green corn sounds cool. Mac and cheese sounds cool as well. I'm too sure. I asked her like, what's the normal amount to get? And she said this, like, it's like $60. I'm not sure if she thought I was eating on my own or like with the family or something. By the way, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, you know. I'm sure like I'm gonna get comments of people saying, oh, you're not doing it right, you know, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know. I'm not from here, I'm on my own. I'm. I'm Riding solo, you know? But let's try this, let's try this. Okay. So I've got brisket, right? Oh my God, wow. It just melts in your mouth, literally. Oh boy. And beef ribs, let's try. Oh my God, that is amazing, wow. What the hell? It's my first time, man. How about, haven't I had this before? I 
that, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this and get back to you. They also told me, by the way, there's a free tour of all like the smokehouse in the back. So I'm gonna go try it out after, take the camera and vlog it. What a day this has turned out to be. Let's go. By the way, I'm struggling to finish this. <laughs> she gave me so much. Look at that. Oh, it's so good though. It's so good though. But like, okay. Should I do it? Should I keep going? All right, bet, bet, bet. Okay, so although it actually is unreal, it's amazing, I cannot finish it. I cannot. I've tried my hardest. I'm so full. I feel like I'm gonna burst, man. But it's really good. I asked for one normal size. I guess this is, I'm clearly not getting that bean with my fork, am I? Okay, anyway, what I'm trying to say to you guys is, I can't finish it. And I feel bad for wasting it. If anyone wants this, come, I'll leave it here. <laughs> but no, anyway, right. Cheers, cheers. Here we go. You make the food here? <laughs> That's a stupid question. Barbecue up here today. Okay. We got two more of these in the back though. Wow. Okay. Five of these 1,000 gallon smokers all day. Wow. Wow. It's good though. I just tried it now. My first time having barbecue. In. What do you mean first time having? Barbecue? Well, I'm from the UK. I'm from the UK. Wow, well, we have barbecue yeah, in the UK, but it's different. It's about using what you got. It's okay, not sure, to say, sure. Like, this is how you do it. You know, it's about using the local wood the local proteins and the indigenous cooking methods of the region. That's why it's always a different, okay, different sure. no matter where you go. Yeah. So here, our local wood is post oak. Okay. This wood is so abundant, they say we'll run out of cows before we run out of this tree. Wow. We'll burn up two of these cages on a slow day, three on a busy day. Every Friday, they bring us 18 more cages of post oak. <laughs> wow. We got that name post oak because farmers and settlers, cowboys used to use the tree to make fence posts because it's really strong, grows really straight, and the branches shoot off at the top. Uh -huh. We used the wood because a very mild smoke content wood. This wood being the reason that smoke's not the first thing that you taste when you try the barbecue. Sure, so, sure. Uh, we smoked the brisket for 12 hours, the beef rib eight hours, the pork rib six hours, the house made sausage and the turkey for four hours. And we always have a team of guys here yeah. barbecuing 24 hours a day. We never stop. <laughs> Really? Yeah, we never stop any day, any time. We always got you know, here barbecuing. Awesome. Uh, right now, I got a 29 brisket on two. They went on at six this morning. Then I got house sausage on three. Uh, it went on at 11 o'clock today. So like I said, it's going to smoke for four hours. Come on and check it out. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. So this brisket right here, like I said, it went on at six this morning. So it's a seven and a half hours into the 12 hour cook. Uh -huh. uh, eventually when I get them perfect, I'll put them in this butcher paper right here yep. and I'll spin them 180 degrees so the flat can face the fire. Right now I'm doing the big end towards the fire because it's big, it's gonna need more time to get there. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make sure everything's perfect before I put it in that paper. Sure. By that I mean the Bark set up, the fats rendered, the colors exactly how I like it. Everything's how I want it before I put it in that paper. Um, people always want to know, well, what temp, what time? And I could tell you a temp or a time, but uh, I'm not, I'm going to lead you astray if I'm doing that. So it's a feel thing. It is a feel thing. So uh, every couple hours I get in here and I pick them all up one by one and just rearrange them according to how they're cooking because it's full of hot spots, full of cold spots. And the only way I can get it more evenly is to pick them up and put them where they need to be. And you pick them up with tongs, yeah? No, I would never touch them with tongs. I have gloves in my pocket. I okay. put these gloves over these gloves and then put more of these gloves on top of these gloves. And then I pick them up okay. one by one. I'll lay out paper, set them on the paper, do whatever. If I grab them with tongs, they rip all this yeah, stuff yeah. apart. <laughs> we have a pool beef in this joker <laughs> so over here this is what my sausage is looking like sausage is a different game um, i'm not getting in here moving it around when i set it up i just got to set it up so none of it touches we're using real casing so if it touches it's not going to get the smoke it's going to stay opaque and it's going to look gross so main thing is i make sure nothing touches in here Damn. when i set it up before i start it so um, I have a temp stick with a sausage. It's not as much of a feel game. I will stab it with this and make yeah. sure it's the proper temperature. With that brisket, it's all about feel for so me. So you won't even turn the bottom ones? I'm not going to turn them. They're going to get smoked perfect, just like that. I can call it a river. It's a lake, Ladybird Lake. So I'm just going to try and do a, a loop around it. or just walk for an hour or two, um, put the phone away. I'll probably show you some bits that are pretty. But yeah, I'm just going to head down, keep going. and. Uh, yeah, get some steps in. I will say as well, that barbecue has absolutely finished me. I'm so full, it's unreal. Um, so this walk should be good for that reason as well. So cool, man. So cool.
need a coffee as well, haven't had one, so I need to find one from somewhere. Apparently there's a place next to my hotel, which is a really nice coffee place, but I just walked past it. It was where the mural was. <laughs> the mural was the coffee shop. So, yeah, a bit of an L there. Is that an L for you guys? You know? Anyway, right, onward. Got a lot to catch you guys up on. Sorry, I haven't been filming much stuff. I've actually been, the last two nights while I've been in Austin, I've been going out. I've been like meeting some people. I've been, you know, someone took me on like a tour of Austin. I didn't want to film it, you know, obvious reasons. Um, and again, even though this trip is something that I'm vlogging, I still want to make sure I have some personal time in that. Uh, and again, this whole trip is for more like a mental health, being on my own type, type, type thing, you know, uh, so. I think that's fine to skip some things. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't mad at that. But to update you right now, I, the, the vlogs might have been like, instead of being every day, it might have been a few days in one. Sorry about that. But I will continue to maintain the vlogs. Even back in London, I'm going to continue these vlogs to make sure you guys uh, continue enjoying, enjoying it. I've been reading the comments as well. You guys have been really, really nice. Uh, and I think you're enjoying this like, like more intimate style of content, which I'm enjoying too. Um, but not to make this little scene too long because I'm sure it's boring for you. I've got to get going now. So now I'm driving to Dallas. Uh, it's like a an hour and a half drive to then charge again, um, which I don't mind by the way. Charging's not actually that bad. I know people don't like it, but it's not that bad. Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Chick. -fil -A. I'm not sure why I'm chatting that, but we're, we're at Chick Fil A. Car charged, ready to go. Uh, halfway through the trip to Dallas, gonna quick Chick Fil A in. Um, need a wee. So probably gonna go, gonna do a wee. <laughs> um. Yeah, just arrived right now. Very doom and gloom outside. But yeah, this is the hotel room. I'll give you a quick tour of it, I guess. I got a pretty decent one because it's right next to the event or what the place where the podcast is being recorded. I also want to say again quickly, uh, CJ and I have only started posting the vlogs in like our time or my time right now in the last day or two. So I've only just started being able to see the comments from you guys. And yeah, thank you for the support on this. Even though the trip is starting to come to an end now, I'm flying back tomorrow. Um, like probably next video I'll be flying tomorrow. Um, but doesn't mean these vlogs are going to end, you know, I'm going to keep doing these vlogs in London. Uh, I'm seeing half of the weekend. Yes, thank God. Um, I probably won't film that, but I might film. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But she won't be in it, you know. Definitely starting to look better, though, in general, you know. Uh, slowly but surely. Come on. Yo, know, bear foggy, you know. But here's the first look at Dallas. Live and direct. Let's go. How's it going? How's it going? I'm vlogging, you good? Hell yeah, absolutely. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you, man. Good to see good, you. Good. Here we are, here for the podcast. You gotta, hit, you gotta hit the Dirk statue. Oh my god. That's the, that's the place. You want, I know you watch a lot of basketball, right? No, like, uh, nah. No? Nah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, I just don't, man. I don't, I don't. I, li I like to think I do. I think I pay for the NBA thing every year, but. I thought, I thought you were like a Knicks fan or something. No, nah, well, I've been to a Knicks game. Oh. <laughs> and, and then, like, <laughs> when, when people ask me what team, I'll say Knicks. But it's one game, oh, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is where the Mavs play. That's Dirk. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Optic, come on. That's us. Oh, wow, sick. Here we are. So is this Optic headquarters? Yeah. Goodness me. Where we, all, where we play and do our content and all the, all the merch wow. and everything, sales and everything. Yeah. It's actually right fucking sick. Damn. Damn. I don't know how familiar you are with Optic, but... Well, no, I mean, I've, I've been... I've been a follower for years, you know, yeah. but I'm not, I'm not, hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. I know, the, I know the, I know a few of the players, you know, yeah. some, of, some, of the, some of the greats. The, the redhead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where all the, our producers, like all the equipment. Sure. Are right now they have a tournament in Boston, so okay. all the, all like the, all the players and a lot of the staff are gone, so. Yeah. We got a little, little skeleton crew here. Okay. Are you still playing? Uh, a yeah, lot. I'm in a stream. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a podcast set. In a Damn. Set. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Land set here. How many people do you have like here? Uh, like right now? No, like usually on, like, on a regular day. What's like the? So these are all of our producers. One, two, three, uh -huh. four, five, six, seven, eight. Like eight producers. Mm -hmm. And then like on that side is like the corporate side. So, like, oh. The sales and the marketing. The suits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they wear suits or not? No. Okay. Not. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. They're not, they're not wearing suits. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Fair. <laughs> He's our bartender and our producer. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Randy, nice to meet you. Come on, come on. And then there, oh, I'm gonna, I was about to ask you a question, but you know when you're about to ask someone a question, you're about to do a podcast? Right? Oh, oh yeah, to be fair, this, the, the small talk we already had is probably a bit too much. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing in Texas, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is sick, though. Yeah. Sidemen need this, man. Like a, like a sidemen. Yeah, I don't have. They have like a smaller one, but it's not, no one hangs out every day, you know? Oh, we got, that's we got, surprising. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, gotta fix up, man, gotta fix up. They definitely should. They should, they should. I'm surprised we don't. Damn, we're changing the set for our, the podcast with me and Simon soon, the What's Good one. Oh, yeah. We're doing a new one. 
we tore it down um, and then we did like an interim set where it was like just trashed and everyone liked it more. <laughs> so. <laughs> more like raw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Sidemen when? Bro, I'm. Bro, guys, do one of these for Sidemen and let me get a room in it. Like, come on, man. How sick would this be? Let's get it done, man. Well, I say, let, I say let's. I'm saying, yeah, get it done and then. <laughs> this place is sick. This place is unreal, man. Oh, look at this. Woo. Trophies. Gears of War. Mad. This is like my room when I was a kid, my, my football team. Obviously, that's a joke. Got a uh, football shirt as well and a hoodie. Kit it out, man. Optic Gaming for life. Let's go. You guys got snack snacks. The real snacks. Yeah. The actual, the, the real stuff. Mm -hmm. Is all this available? We have Oreos. We have Doritos with different flavors. You don't have Miss Vicky's? No. Oh, dog. Okay, sure, sure. One of each. Okay, okay, okay. One of each. You okay. Have Miss Vicks. I'm eating good tonight. Thank yes. you, thank you. <laughs> Miss Vicks, what, what's, what's good about these then? They're like kettle chips. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, oh, wait, what do you what do you guys call chips? Because you call us fries. Crisps. Cri they're kettle crisps? Sure, sure. And they're nice. Sure. Dude, they're so good. <laughs> you look, you look yeah, so uh, yeah. So good. I'm, I'm not like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't go back to my hotel like holding it like that. Do you guys play these or just for decoration? Uh, some people play them. Okay. The, our, this is our accounting department. Oh, they play they it. Play. Really? Okay, wow. Play, yeah. <laughs> That's funny.